Hey, blessings again, prayer warriors. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to join with others to pray for a few minutes as we kick off our day or end our day. Amen. Today is October 6th, Friday already. Man, oh man. So our Bible reading today is such a great chapter. Philippians chapter 2. Look at verse 5 on. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not think it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of man. <clears throat> Excuse me. And being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death on the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name, which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven, those on earth, and those under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our prayer focus today is the media. We're praying for Libya, excuse me, Liberia today, and then I'll lift up the uh, the world as we go along in our prayer time. But it's number six, if you want to put your finger right on there on the prayer map, so that we, we are going to pray through every nation in our world this month. Amen? All right, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we do bless you and thank you for this day. Oh, the goodness of our God, you're always there. Even in these trials, these tests that we go through in life, you're always there. And we say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Love you so much, Father. Oh, we worship you. Worship you on this new day. Worship you as they say the weather is supposed to start changing. Worship you to know that you give us summer, spring, winter, harvest, the fall, Lord. You give us all seasons, and we say thank you, our great God. Thank you, the love of our lives. You are our everything, and we praise you and honor you, our King, our Lord. Lord, as we lift up our nation before you, we lift up Nevada today. We lift up the three million people there, Lord, and we pray for them. Nevada, known with Las Vegas as the sin city, Lord, we pray for the many godly, 20% there that are godly people, and we pray for them, but we pray for the lost, the unchurched, and the unsaved. We lift up our United States of America, and we pray, Father, as they're working on the new Speaker of the House, who is the third most powerful person or in line for the presidency, president, vice president, speaker of the house, we pray that the right one will get in. We lift up Jordan, we lift up Salia, and we lift up Trump. They're even putting his name there. We pray over this, these in Jesus' name. We lift up our world before you. We lift up Israel today, Lord, we pray for what's all the stuff that's going on around the Temple Mount, Lord. We just pray, Father. You said when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. We pray about this peace plan that's in the ropes right now for uh, Saudi Arabia with Israel, Lord, and the different people that have gone to Saudi Arabia from Israel. We pray over that. We pray over our world as we keep hearing nuclear war, nuclear bombs, nuclear planes, nuclear submarines, on and on that's going on. We lift this all up before you, Father, and we pray. We pray for the people of our world. We lift up Liberia. We pray for the workers there, Lord. We pray for the 5 million people there. We pray for the 11% evangelical Christians there, Lord. As we see them on our world map, number 113, we lift them up before you, Father. Father, we lift up our other prayer nations today. Guyana, Suriname, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, Bolivia, Chile. We pray for these in our world, Father. We lift up these nations, Father, and we pray for the people, so many people, Lord. 
we look at it, 32 million, 213 million in Brazil, 11 million Bolivia, Chile, 18 million, on and on, Father. We pray for people. We pray that every hindrance be broken, the scales come off their eyes. Lord, we're not per se asking you to save them. You said you desire that all men be saved. We're asking that the scales come off their eyes, the perfect labor come across their heart path, and the tugging of the Holy Spirit upon their hearts. And I thank you, thank you for that, Lord. Now, Father, we lift up other missionaries and mission works around our world. We lift up Christ for all people, Christ for the nation, Christ to the world ministries, Christian and Missionary Alliance, CBN, Christian Educator Association, Christian Health Service Corp. We lift up these different ministries, Father. So many good, good ministries out there. And we pray for them today. And we thank you. Thank you for that, Father. Father, we bring our prayer cards before you as more came in on Wednesday night. We pray for these, Lord. And we pray. I pray for Richard, Father. Richard, the uh, Jager, Father. I pray for him. I pray for Cindy, Lord. I pray for uh, Beth for the funeral on uh, memorial service for Bill on Sunday. I pray for Mike, who had the, the service yesterday. On and on, Lord. We pray for fellow brothers and sisters. We pray for the needs, Lord, the needs of our dear brothers and sisters, Lord. This is our church family. We're going to be spending eternity together. We lift them up. I lift up before you also the big uh, Signs at a Time conference that's coming up, Lord. And we pray, Father, for that it'll be a mighty outreach in our community, Lord. We want people to see what's going on in our world, and that's why we're bringing these guys in, and I thank you for that. And Lord, I thank you in our Bible reading today that you have exalted Jesus, his name, above all names, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven, those on earth, and those under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Father, we do that right now. We exalt the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done for us. You died on that cross. You went into the bowels of the earth. You rose on the third day so that we could have life and that more abundantly here and then eternal life. Well, we have eternal life but enjoying it for all eternity. We love you, sir. We lift up our loved ones that are unsaved yet, and we pray that the scales would come off their eyes and their hearts would be open to the glorious light of the gospel. I pray for these that are with me today, your blessings upon them and their families. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom, shalom, shalom. We love you, sir. We honor you, sir. And we exalt you today. Love you, our Savior. Amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Amen. Oh, we serve a great God. Have a great day. Blessings again to you and yours. God bless.